I want to show off uh, some of the new features I have on the ESP32 port of Gerbil. Uh, a lot of the machines I design are really small, like this drawing machine and this drawing machine. The problem is the machines are very small and the last thing you want to do is hook up a large laptop to control them. So I've been looking for alternative ways of controlling, like via phone uh, is a good example. And uh, I've been adding Bluetooth modules to some of my projects. It's a bit of a, a, a pain to have that extra module on there. Uh, and then the ESP32 has that and Wi file. So, what's the best solution for some of these projects? Would it be uh, running via Bluetooth, running via Wi Fi, or uh, possibly uh, running uh, jobs from an SD card? Well, the answer is probably all of them depending on which project you use. So I'm slowly adding those features uh, so that you can pick and choose what features you can use uh, on your project. Uh, and today I'm going to demonstrate um, what I've done with uh, the SD card. The trick to putting SD card on Gerbil is you want to do it in such a way that you don't break all the senders. There are dozens of great senders out there and by adding this new feature um, you want to have it backward compatible as much as possible and ideally if this catches on um, the senders would be updated to uh, use the SD card a little bit better. So I tried to use um, all the reporting and formatting uh, in a very Gerbil type way. Um, so uh, let me show you what um, it would look like on UGS. So the first thing you do, of course, is connect, and now I can home the machine. That's all pretty standard. So the next thing is I can manually control the SD card. And SD card commands are $F something. $FM would be mount the SD card. $F would list the files. The files are reported in this format, which is a familiar bracket reporting scheme that um, Gerbil uses. And you can see uh, it printed out on the console and didn't appear to break anything. So to run a file, I would type $f equals slash cs dot nc. That would be using uh, this file here. So you can see the DROs are still working and everything's running just fine. If I turn on verbose for a second, I'll turn it off. You can see I've added an extra reporting thing, which is SD colon, and that's a percentage. If I turn it back on, you can see the rest of the percentage. And basically now it's done. And that SD has gone away now that the SD file is not running. Let me run that one more time. And one of the interesting features is I can actually disconnect and even shut down uh, UTS and it still continues to work. So the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is running it from a phone over Bluetooth. So I'm running Gerbil Controller here, and first thing I do is I connect to my uh, Bluetooth device. Now it's connected, and I will rehome. Okay, the homing is complete. Now I will mount the SD card again. Um, and then try to list the files. Um, unfortunately, basically, it's reported the files, but UGS has filtered out that response. Um, so you can't see them here, which is a drawback on this sender, and it'll probably be true on some other senders. But I can still send the file. Dollar F equal. cs.nc and 
and you can see that it's running the job. I turn verbose back on, you can see uh, the SD status, turn that off. Um, I can go back to the home screen, you see the DROs are still working. Um, and I can also disconnect and the job will finish. So that's basically it for this feature. Uh, as always, if you want to follow me, follow me on my uh, blog, which is buildlog.net slash blog, or you can follow me on Twitter um, via at buildlog. Thanks. Bye.